Hi everyone, it's Laurel here with a card from start to finish using some Mama Elephant products. I'm going to be playing along in the Mama Elephant Challenge. Starts today on April 1st and runs for three weeks. And the prize is a design team spot with the challenge blog, so be sure to play along. This is the card that I made for the challenge, inspired by the beautiful colors of the challenge badge, the blue and the green and the white and the clean and simple design. I'm going to be using this nursery deco stamp here, and I'm going to be using this the shelf stamp. And I'm going to line that up straight on my grid mat there, and then I'm going to pick it up with my footed press. Now, I love my footed press. I know Fiskars makes one. It's called a Fiskars stamping press. And this one is the Martha Stewart footed press. Both are great. I have them both. And I'm going to be inking it up using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to be doing some coloring. I really like Memento Tuxedo Black for the black and the Memento Rich Cocoa for the brown when I'm going to be using alcohol markers because these inks do not bleed or smear when you color, so that's fantastic. So as you can see, I was able to line that stamp up and then push down, and those foam feet help me line up exactly where I want the stamp to go before I press down. Now I'm going to take these two giraffes, and I'm going to pick them up with the same footed stamp and ink them up with the same ink and stamp those down onto the little shelf that I've got on there and I love that I use that you can use your grid mat to kind of line up where you want your images to go. This is another reason why I like clear stamps. You can see where you're stamping. I can't have a crooked shelf or my little stuffed animals would fall off. <laughs> so now I'm going to be doing some coloring with my Spectrum Noir markers and I'm going to play some music here and I do put all the caps onto the uh, craft mat there so hopefully you can see the colors that I'm going to be using. color of my video has finally sorted itself out so yay so I'm going to take that congratulations image from the same set another reason 5022 that I love clear stamps is you can bend them so I wanted to have this little curve sentiment up there in the in the left hand corner and I'm stamping that with some mama elephant mojito ink it's a really pretty green and I just love 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 their inks I'm going to be doing something fun with their inks in just a minute so now I'm going to use just an acrylic block there, and I'm going to be using three different inks. This one is the ocean. This is that really pretty light blue there. And I'm going to squirt it with some water, and I'm going to make my own little mist here. This is just a large mister filled with regular water. I've got this paintbrush that I actually stole out of my son's stuff because <laughs> I couldn't find a paintbrush. And I'm kind of flicking it on there. It's hard to see now because the color's so light, but once it's all done, you'll be able to pick it up a little bit more. Now I'm going to take that green ink, which is the mojito, and I'm going to do the same thing, just kind of add some water. The more water you, you add, the more saturated it's going to be. And flick some of that green on there. And I'm doing this with a very skinny pointy brush because I have more control over where I am flicking my water and how much actually comes out. 
if that makes any sense. Now that's the ocean color there. And this is going to be the one that shows the most, as you can see, because it's the brighter of the color. Now I'm starting to mix all the colors together and just flicking it all around, just having a good old time. Flick, flick, flick. <laughs> and now to add a little bit of sheen to the cute little giraffes, I'm going to be adding some of this Perfect Pearls. This is just in the regular white color. It's called Perfect Pearl. And I'm just going to brush a little bit over the top of the giraffes and the shelf just to add a little very subtle bit of sheen over the image <clears throat> and I like perfect pearls because it adds just they come in a bunch of different colors by the way this is just the white and how you set perfect pearls is so easy you just kind of squirt some water up into the air and then you run your paper through it you know how when you're walking through department stores and you have people can you want to sample this perfume uh, that's pretty much what you do with the water bottle so that'll set it and it's then the perfect pearls are just going to stay put it really adds a very subtle sheen, which is very hard to capture on camera. Now I'm adding a little bit of enamel, enamel dots. These are by Doodlebug, and I love them. They've got the adhesive on the back. Very easy to work with, and they come in a bunch of fun colors. So I'm going to be adding just, I'm trying to figure out, I'm not the best with kind of, you know, doing the perfect placement and working in a triangle shape or working with threes or twos. I just put stuff where I think it looks cute, so it may or may not be right, but oh well. Um, so I've got that down, <clears throat> and now I'm going to be using, this is Nina's Solar White cardstock, by the way, and I wanted something on that background panel there. It just kind of looked boring by itself. And I looked on my craft desk, and I actually had some washi tape. And I thought that would be fun to create a fun background. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit off and kind of hold it up to the background just to see if it's something that I would like, and it is. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't know who this washi tape is by. I have so much washi tape, it's insane, the amount of washi tape I have. And I don't even know why this was out on my desk because I haven't used it in a long time. But it was. It must have been divine intervention there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some washi tape down on the top and the bottom. It also secures my cardstock in place while I'm working. <laughs> so I've got it down there on the bottom, but I guess I'm off camera there just a little bit. And then I held it up and I'm like, yeah, I can't get by without putting stuff on the edges. I was trying to weasel my way out of it, but it just didn't look right, even though I really wanted it to. So what I'm going to do is just start peeling off little pieces of washi tape and lining up the stripes. And then I'm going to put them all the way down the sides, both sides, so I can have a complete like border around the card base. And I don't have to go all the way in the center because you're not going to see that much of the edges. So as long as you line up the stripes... Now that looks like awful, doesn't it? That just looks hideous. <laughs> I'm glad that's not the finished card. So I'm going to peel it up and take my scissors here and I'm going to whack off all the, the washi tape along the edges there. And then it's going to look better, I promise. Don't be too alarmed. <laughs> and once I get, I was having a hard time lining up. Can you tell? I left that on video because I want y'all to laugh with me. Laugh at me, laugh with me, whatever your pleasure is. <laughs> All right, so I've got that all done, and that looks like crap too. It's okay, you can say it, but once you get the card panel on there, it's gonna look awesome. Now this is some foam dimension here from this gigantic roll that I'm about to show you. It's insane how big it was. I had no idea it was this big, but I love it. Look at that, it's like bigger than my head. Anyway, I'm putting some of that foam dimension down there so I can pop up my card panel here, and then we're gonna be done with the card. And you're never gonna see all that crazy washi tape madness there in the background. So once I peel all this off, I'm going to go ahead and eyeball it and pop it down. And here's our card. We are done. Be sure to head on over to my blog at laurelbeard.org for more information and also a link to the challenge. And remember, the prize for the challenge is a design team spot over on the Mama Elephant Challenge design team. So thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in any of these supplies, they are linked below in the YouTube description and on my blog. Thanks.